Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this screencast I'm going to show you that how you can create your custom controls in iOS development. So custom controls uh, you can see most of the custom controls that are provided by Apple. Uh, if I go to the storyboard you can see all these custom controls that are provided. Uh, label control, button control, segmented, text field, and everything. Now, when the iOS was released some time back, you, as a developer, as a third-party developer, you were able to add your own custom controls into this toolbox over here, as you can see. But right now, at this point, and after that, actually, they they stopped that. I mean, you cannot really add your own custom controls over here in the toolbox. But you can always add your custom controls in a separate static library or you can add your custom controls in your own project which we're going to do and we're going to build a very simple custom controls like a checkbox control so you can click on it and it will checkbox it will have a label on the right hand side to it you click it again and it will be unchecked uh, just like a normal checkbox that you use and if you see over here uh, you won't really find a checkbox control so that's a good control that you will have in your uh, tool belt. So our control will be called AZ checkbox as you can see uh, it inherits from the UI control instead of the UI view uh, and the reason is that when you inherit from the UI control you get the send target and all kind of those events that UI control event value change kind of things. So if you're making a custom controls it is highly recommended that you use UI control instead of the UI view so that you get the target action events. Um, this is the protocol for the UI gesture recognizer delegate which means that we will be doing some sort of delegates um, you know attaching some sort of delegates which is mostly a click event uh, to our uh, checkbox. And you can see that this is uh, pretty simple. Uh, all the code was already generated. There is uh, basically nothing that I wrote in this particular file and we're gonna try to implement this. Now I'll be doing a little bit of copy pasting. Or well, actually, let me see if I can revert back some of the things. So here we go. And I'll explain you what's going on, okay? So let me revert back most of it. I think that is it. So we have a if checks property and which basically determines that if the checkbox is checked or not. Uh, we have a title label which is uh, basically the label that will display the title of whatever you're displaying. We have a title itself which will be like the checkbox title. It can be, it can say I agree, it can say uh, anything you want. Then we have a checkbox view, normal checkbox, selected checkbox. Okay, And this will be the constructor that we are going to use in it with title. We're passing in the title. Uh, we're passing in the normal checkbox which is the non-selected state of the checkbox and we're going to pass in the selected checkbox image which is what happens when you actually select the checkbox. It's basically the one with the check mark, right? This is very important. We we have a protocol over here, and it says A Z checkbox did select checkbox. Um, this is the method or the delegate that is going to be called once you select the checkbox. Now you might be wondering that hey maybe I can just uh, you know add all the logic of handling the checkbox or the click event right over here right in the checkbox implementation, and the problem with that might be is that you want to give the uh, the delegate or the event to the view controller so that it can do various things on the checkbox. If you're putting all the logic of that if the checkbox is checked over here in the implementation file of the control itself then you're limiting yourself quite a lot because you might use a checkbox for an I agree button in your page like a legal agreement but you also might use this checkbox in a scenario where you want to say hey uh, save password or save uh, username for future you know whatever visits or something like that right so you should, you should always uh, delegate the 
event like the checkbox event it checked it's checked it's not checked or kind of thing and give it to the view controller so that it can decide what it wants to do with it so now we are in over here let's see what we can do we're just going to do a little bit of copy pasting the code okay so after the checkbox is initialized what you do want to do is you want to create a set of views so these will be the sub views in our case the sub views are actually the label that you want to create uh, the label will display the information about the checkbox or the title of the checkbox basically okay let me build this and see everything works all right now init with title is the next method that we should implement and this is the constructor that will be fired uh, from the view controller to make the checkbox so here we go and I can tell you what's going on let's start with set up sub views basically it's creating a checkbox image view because a checkbox it will be an image basically a, a check check mark image uh, here it is so I drew this it's, it's pretty ugly as you can see let's let it load here we go I'm pretty sure you can so this is the unchecked box this is a normal uh, state where the where it's not check marked and this is the selected state where you can see that uh, this is selected by the user or check marked by the user um, we're creating the title basically based on the title label as you can see over here and then we are adding uh, sub view basically uh, the check checkbox image view and the title label in it with title user interaction enabled yes uh, the normal checkbox image we assign it and we pass it from the constructor title setup sub views register uh, gesture recognizer of course if you don't have any gesture recognizers then your checkbox won't really work because you know because it, it has to have some sort of gesture recognizer so that you can click on it you can tap on it we are simply adding a very simple gesture recognizer which is a tap gesture recognizer uh, delegate to self which means that this this were checkbox tapped event will be f you can uh, find it in the same class and let me go ahead and implement this checkbox tapped event here's the checkbox tap event and let me see what's going on over here there we go so so this event is fired when you once you click on the checkbox okay it's going to say that okay if if the checkbox is checked then it is going to uh, set the image of the image view of the checkbox to the selected image else it's just going to say normal image and this is the part that's very important is that we are not doing any logic over here like we are not doing like oh uh, if self dot is checkbox uh, is checked then uh, this means that I agree button is checked you know let's say that we are doing some sort of a legal contract or something and we have this checkbox over there so I agree button is checked and okay I'm gonna call a web service now uh, you know a web service call and all that stuff you know so we're not doing any kind of logic over here because any kind of business logic like uh, updating or calling a web service any kind of those things that should not they, they should not be in the in the control implementation they should be in the callers implementation in the view controller or somewhere else even okay so in this case we are saying that okay self.delegate not nil was we are just going to say that we're going to fire this delegate and whoever is subscribed to that delegate whoever is listening will get that particular event so let's go to view controller um, let's see we have already added the AZ checkbox we can also add over here AZ checkbox delegate okay and in this case now let's see let's 
So let's so go over here, and now we can implement the uh, this method or delegate. And now we can do over here whatever we want to do. Okay. But of course, we still have to create the checkbox, right? So we can do that. Um, let's go over here. We're going to use the init with title method. The title is I agree. Uh, the normal checkbox image, which is non selected state, is a normal checkbox image. And the selected checkbox is the selected checkbox image. You can see the this is the selected checkbox image as I showed you earlier and this is the normal checkbox image as you can see and then we set up the frame we set up the delegate this is very important this means that um, the when the delegate fires when the events fires from the checkbox the controller the view controller which is right over here will be responsible for catching those and I am catching it over here and then we finally add it to the view so let's go ahead and run this, see what it looks like. So here is our checkbox. And if I click it, you can see that it's replaced by a different image, which is the selected checkbox image. And this is a great thing because now we can get the notification or the delegate is actually fired uh, from the checkbox and it's, it's being handled over here in the view controller. Okay. So now you can consider using this particular checkbox in a, some other page. Let's say, I don't know, like a, uh, like a save password login screen where you want to do you want to save the password checkbox for yes and or don't check uh, don't check mark for no, and you can use it in a different view controller and you will still get this event and now you can take a different action. Okay. So this is, of course, the very basic uh, checkbox or a, the uh, the custom control that you can develop. Uh, you can go in any length uh, in developing any sort of custom controls. Uh, in this, I'm using images, but you are always welcome to override the, where it is, here we go, CG rectangle or draw rectangle method to create a, a distinctive look for your checkbox. Uh, draw rectangle is actually how your view will be rendered on the screen. So you can make a polygon or a, a, a rectangle, a triangle or a circle, basically circle sounds good, uh, for a checkbox and it will, it will work. We are just using images because it was much easier for us to use the images, okay? So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you like this uh, video tutorial and uh, Stay tuned for more videos on Azam Sharp channel. Thank you very much.